All right, good morning. Got my coffee, so today is a little bit different. We are not tuning a car, but we are actually tuning my buddy's boat. This thing, check out the motor right now. Got a full LS swap with a cam. It's got a Holly Terminator X. We're doing some tuning on it. We're setting up the cables right now. flywheel which mates to the mercury coupler the regular bell housing bolts right on Hi. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> first time Ricky what are you doing photo shoot got it all fucked up <laughs> it's a regular alpha one out drive uh, the boat originally had a 4.3 v6 so it's got the 182 gear ratio and I'm running a three blade 25 pitch prop Pump. That'll Brock. Yeah, it's not electric, it's mechanical. Yeah. Oh. Well, so, maybe I'll just gonna switch. I'm just gonna switch it to electric then. Yeah. Alright, so you can see here the cooling system on it. We got the Y band, this is where we're monitoring the air fuel ratios. The intake manifold, the stock. It's got a throttle body in it. Obviously, the intake, and the camshaft, and fuel pressure sensor. So, pretty much everything that would function in a car. Similar setup. What's the cooling? How did you do the manifolds? The manifolds are uh, some stainless steel. Uh, block hugger style headers flipped upside down and then I TIG welded a sheet metal box around it to be able to water jacket it. And then I got a closed cooling system so it still runs a normal car water pump and thermostat. And then this right here is the heat exchanger. It takes the lake water and cools the antifreeze just like a normal radiator. And I got a water oil oil cooler down here. Oh, I thought it was actually an open system where it just goes through the whole initially it was an open system and i had problems getting enough temperature in it so uh, i went to the closed system just so i could run a thermostat and have yeah, it work yeah, right so it gets hot because a marine thermostat needs to be on the outlet side and on ls it's on the inlet side so they do sell a kit but it's more expensive than what i was able to fab up with the heat exchanger oh 
the Australian ones got a flex fuel sensor. I have injector. Good point. I don't know. I can check. They are flex fuel injectors. How big are they? Factory 5.3 flex fuel injectors. I think they're like... They're like 20. Wait. I think they're like 33s or something. Well, we can just get some LS343 pounds. Those would be perfect for this. And we can just retune it real quick. I think I might have some at the shop too. Some guy might have left some. I can check. I told him he, I did injector swap and I was like, hey, you want your old injectors? He's like, nope. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Thanks. So I might have those you can have and then a flex fuel sensor. Why not, right? It'll probably make at least another 15 horsepower. You can just put it right here. Perfect spot. Right there. Make the same on flex fuel and then <clears throat> I mean, E85 is cheaper. Towing that boat gave us an opportunity to do a lot of drivability testing, so tuning. So now we're gonna go ahead and just rip this thing and see how fast she goes. Probably get some videos from the other boat. Probably take the drone out, maybe. Cool, so this is a build breakdown. Now we'll see the top speed breakdown. Maybe it's down so we don't rip it off. But it's a beautiful day out. For the motor mounts, if anybody's wondering, this has a factory motor mount, but he made custom adaption plates for it. We got the cover off. We're gonna go and uh, so no drag. We're gonna go do some top speed. See what she can do. corrections within 2% so I'm happy with that everything looks good from a tuning standpoint so now we can get some shots and some more top speed runs and we'll go from there. tuned up, added more chop, checked the drivability tuning perfect while we are towing the other boat, checked the full throttle, we did a bunch of top speed full throttle runs. Basically we were doing about 70 miles an hour in the water. Uh, I think she can go maybe a little bit faster. I'm going to encourage Travis to put a flex fuel sensor in there, convert that thing to flex fuel. Should pick up another like 15 horsepower and uh, couple more mile an hour um, but it's such a cool setup you can hear the chop on it it sounds just like a Corvette which is very uh, cool so we're done with that we're gonna close the video out here thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed the video